Okay, so while we've got the carb off and um, we've refurbished the carb as, as, as we saw, I'm now going to take off the, the reed block and have a look at the have a look at the reeds, see what condition um, they're in. Um, reeds, petals, I mean I, I call them reeds. Uh, we'll get them on the bench and we'll look how we um, look at just checking out how those uh, reeds are sitting in the block. So, let's see about getting this bad boy off. It's four M10 returning bolts. Okay, now a bit like that should come away. Yep, so let's put this on the bench. So let's do it this way around. Let's put this on the bench and uh, see what condition the reeds are actually in. So, we've now got the uh, reed block and, and mounting off the bike. Let's we'll just take the mounting away just for now. So this is a reed block that we mentioned, just maybe a little bit easier to see. Um, if you're not aware of reed valve induction, it's quite simple. Um, we've got these reed valves here. Some people refer to them as petals. To me, I've always called them reed valves. And in this instance, there are six, and they act against um, this this assembly here. Um, as you increase uh, induction, they open, or they should open, and and these fingers or tabs here stop them opening too far. I'll just gently open one. So that's the maximum um, it should ever open. It can, obviously it can't go any further than that. Right. In terms of where we have checked, there's no chipping um, or marks on these um, in fact they look like new reeds I can't whether I can't tell whether they're stock or whether they're an aftermarket or a performance one um, but there's no navage on the on the reeds and they're seating um, extremely well on there a way to check and again you won't be able to really see this on the camera I don't think um, but if we look down in there we can see where they would seat and if we put a light behind it um, and if we can just see there, it's light tight in there. So if it's light tight, it must be airtight, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So it's a good surface to surface contact. So I'm happy with that. There's no more to do with it. We know there's no need to take anything apart. Um, it can go back, uh, go back on the bike.